Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will see how can we enable multi-factor authentication for a user. So for multi-factor authentication is whenever we log into AWS console, we give username and password, but along with that, we need some extra authentication, usually with some uh, authentication token, which is coming to your uh, device or something, right? We, you guys have, must have used it for some other secured application as well. But what we need to do uh, to set it up, we need to click on users uh, and for that user for which you want to enable the multi-factor authentication or MFA, click on that and there we should see the console access. It should, it says uh, enabled without enabled without MFA. Right now it's enabled without MFA and we want to enable it. So click on that and it says enable MFA. Okay, just a second and this is my user only, right? Yeah, okay. I'll click on enable MFA and there are multiple op options. First one is you should have a pass key or security key authenticate using your fingerprint. It looks like a hard uh, device. Second is uh, authenticator app. So there are multiple authenticator app. For example, uh, you can use Google authenticator or uh, there are others as well. And this is also hardware TOTP token. Uh, okay, so I'll just use this authenticator app and this is give some name. Oh, just a second. I'm trying it with Microsoft Authenticator app. Click on next. Okay, so name. So I'll say my pro soft Okay, click on next. And it says setup device. What we need to do is install a compatible application such as Google Authenticator, Dio Mobile, Authy app, etc. Okay, let me try with Google Authenticator. That is also I'm having. And uh, see a list of compatible applications. We can see that if these are the options available. Okay, that's fine. Okay. And then what we need to do is Open the authenticator app, choose show QR code on this page and then use uh, scan it. Okay. So let me open the authenticator app at my side and I will click on scan QR code here on the application itself while using the app and here I need to click on this show QR code need to access it and okay type to consecutive MFA below just a second and I will input that it says okay mm. this should this should pop up on your authenticator app I have input one it is just refreshing on the screen and and then click on add MFA and that is it see it just enabled with MFA now if I want to log in if I want to log in now with this user let's see what happens so this is the sign in link I'll just copy it and let me open the incognito window incognito window and This time it should ask me to provide the authentication code also. So I am username. Now if I click on sign in, it is ask, also asking the MFA code, which is should display on your authenticator app, maybe Google Authenticator, right? So just uh, fill in that. So I'll just fill in that one. So four one nine. So I should be able to access now. 
Yes, it is working. So this is how we set up the MFA, multi-factor authentication for our account. That's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching.